Hi there, the Me TV's Patchwork OS got a small update a couple of days ago, so I thought I'll make a video and we can talk about the changes. This is your friend texting. Let's get started. So now the version number is 1.0.2. Previously to this, it was 1.0.0. So it's a minor upgrade, not a major upgrade, but there are a couple of changes. There are some good things, there are some bad things. So let's start talking about them. When on the home page, quickly press the top button of the remote. It will bring you to quick access. Now you can quickly jump into settings and also input sources. Suppose you need to quickly get to your setup box. You can go from here and you can choose your HDMI as well as your AV source directly and faster. If your USB pen drive is connected, it will also show up in the quick access. Go to your settings, security, Mika settings. This option was not available in the previous version. Make sure you turn this on, stream from your device to your TV. This will help in mirror casting your device to the TV. Double pressing on the home button of the remote now brings the icons of the previously opened apps, unlike a tile-like format in the previous version. Yes, you can still close the apps by sliding up or you can come down clear all. The search option has been improved too. Previously, anything you search wouldn't get results even if it was there in the pre-installed apps. Let's search by the name of a TV show. You can also search by the name of the actor. It will show the songs and movies available. Finally, let's quickly search for a song. So the search has drastically improved. I know very few of us use this feature. Some might not even know it exists. So make use of it now. It's very helpful. In the apps, the multimedia player has been renamed to media player. However, the user interface has remained unchanged. Press the power button and the screen off option is gone. Oh, this is really disappointing. I personally loved it. It would help instantly boot up the TV. Let's hope that it is back in the next update. Alright, so how's the overall user experience? Well, while navigating, I did realize it does become a little laggy, a little unresponsive sometimes, definitely not as smooth as its previous version, no Play Store yet, no major update yet, but definitely getting better. Hopefully the next update will iron out the bugs and we'll see a Play Store very soon. So I hope this video was helpful. Write down in the comment section and let me know if I've missed out or anything or if there is something that you want to ask me about the MeTV, I'll be happy to help. Also, I've made a couple of videos on the MeTV like the unboxing, the review, tips and tricks. So if you want to check them out, you can check the links in the description. Don't forget to like this video, share and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Until next time, cheers.